Okay, I have arrived at Natural Falls State Park in Oklahoma. Got my camp set up. Fixing to eat a little lunch before I head down to the river and uh, do some scuba diving. So this is a two-day scuba diving trip. Looking for stuff. Already got my tent set up with the mattress, blanket, all that good stuff. Pretty much got the place to myself, except for a couple of people here. So now that I got camp set up, after I eat lunch, I'm gonna load back up in the car and drive down to a local creek that has a swimming hole and uh, scuba dive it for a while and see what I can find. All right, yesterday Cindy made up some vegetable soup and was kind enough to put some in a thermos for me. That way I didn't have to cook anything when I got here, it was ready to go. So I got a thermos of vegetable soup, some nuts, and some pig rinds. So a nice, quick, simple meal before I go diving. <coughs> Just put a serrano pepper in there. It has more than just temperature heat. It's got some spice to it too. Okay, I have arrived at the stream and it is not rushing and gushing like it was last time I was here. It does look like a tree washed down the creek though and got stuck. Alright, this is my search area. Not a soul out here. Perfect. So since I can't watch my uh, gear, I'll be locking my gear up in the car. So I'll be switching over to the GoPro after this. Clear water, but oh my goodness, it's cold. Ooh, yes sir, that water is cold. Goodness gracious, it's gonna be a good time though.
Oh, I had to come up for a breather. As many coins as I'm finding down here. Surely there's a piece of jewelry down here besides that trash earring. This scuba mask I found looked pretty good. It looked like they're brand new. Anyways, I won't go down for a little bit longer. Give it another shot. up I've pretty much sucked all the air out of my tank 
I'm gonna go back to camp, put on my hiking boots and do a little hike. I'll be back here tomorrow after I warm up and I'll hit it again. Probably go down below the uh, dam. I'm getting chilly. It's time to get out of the water. All right, I got all my scuba gear off, back off the creek. Had some little pupper dog come over and visit me. Wrap up, if it's not too windy. Pull tabs galore. I've seen worse though. A pair of goggles, a pair of sunglasses, two pairs of snorkel mask. Surprisingly in good shape. Handful of coins. I don't know exactly how much yet. I haven't counted them up, but a handful of those. Uh, cheap earring of some sort. Um, rosary. Actually, kind of nice looking rosary with a uh, cross on it. I saw that on the surface before I even got to it. It went off on the metal detector, but uh, it was just laying on top of the rocks. So anyways, that was really about it. I was kind of expecting with all these coins, I was expecting a little bit more jewelry. But uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and see what else I can find. But right now, I am cold. So I'm going to go warm up, maybe go do a hike. And then uh, tomorrow after I break camp, I'm going to uh, hit this uh, creek again. All right. Got my hiking clothes on and now it's time to go hike some of the trails here at Natural Falls State Park. I don't know if the waterfall is flowing much. Hasn't been a whole lot of rain, but anyways, I want to check out a few trails that I've never been to before. Yeah, the waterfall's running a little bit anyway. Oh, that's nice. Going down in the valley. It's 88 steps down there. And this is where the steps begin. And they just kind of switch back all the way down the hillside until you get to the base of the waterfall. I'm going to check out the waterfall and then I'm going to go down a trail I've not been down before that takes off to the to the right that takes off at the bottom of the stairs and instead of going left I want to go right and uh, follow the creek down through the valley So that was the waterfalls. Now I'm going to find this other trail that I've never been on. And it should run parallel with that stream right behind me. Alright, so at the bottom of the steps, the trail turns to the left to the waterfall. And then to the right is supposed to go to a large pond, small lake where they have uh, 
catch and release fishing. Obviously the trail turns a little more treacherous over here. So you just gotta be careful where you're stepping. A bridge to cross. I think this is what they're calling the large pond, little uh, little lake. I think it's just basically the uh, creek is dammed up. Is what it amounts to. This is obviously the uh, the upper end. So we'll go down there and see if we can find the dam. Well, it's nice and peaceful down here. Got a little area that's cleared off like a park. Picnic table. A bench or two. Ah, sign that says fishing area. Alexa said she didn't catch anything when she was over here fishing. This is also an interpretive trail. So it gives you a little bit of information about the wildlife in this area. And also uh, some of those plaques have information on the uh, plant life. I think Alexa said there wasn't any fish in this thing. I'm seeing fish swimming all through there. And there's some out there. There's definitely fish here. Now they're not great big, at least the ones I'm looking at right now. One under that leaf, if I can find that floating leaf, right there. That's a pretty decent bass. And I see some more over here. Right there. Definitely fish in this water. dam so they have dammed up the creek a little bit well I see I found Bigfoot <laughs> drop down there. Ghost Coon Trail. And that road leads back down to the fishing pond. And then up the hill are the State Park Yurts. The State Park's Yurts. I think they rent for about a hundred dollars a night somewhere in that area I'd like to see inside one of those and then we have a much larger more robust bridge here my goodness the railings on this thing are tall And you get a little bit of a view of the waterfall through the bars. All right, and the trail I was on has eventually circled back around almost to the trailhead. It's the uh, little stream right before it falls off the edge. 
Ooh. After a couple of hours of scuba diving and then hiking those trails, I am getting seriously hungry. It's gonna be time to go back to camp and cook a meal. I fixed a fine meal of chicken breast with a couple of different kinds of cheeses and I think spinach and then some Brussels sprouts. So that's going to go in my skillet and I'm going to heat that up. I think I got a flame going. Yeah, I think I see one. I can certainly hear it. Put a lid on that and let that heat up because I am starving. I got that good and sizzling hot. I had to chop the chicken breast up a little bit so it'd all get hot in the center. But it's good to go now. Alright. Got my meal ate. Got my push-ups out of the way. I went and jogged. Come back and now just been relaxing. Semi-relaxing. About half a dozen teenage boys decided to invade the playground over there so got a little loud for a little bit but mama came and picked them all up so it's all nice and quiet again so it's about to get dark and I'm probably gonna head to bed here in a little bit and then in the morning rinse and repeat looking forward to getting back down there and doing some more diving and see what I can find all right it's getting dark pretty quick out here when I charge up my phone Watch a little Netflix and then I'm going to sleep. See you all in the morning.